Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create a walk cycle with a parallaxing effect. First of all, you need to create your background. Now, you can create a background using any software of your choice, but one of the things that you have to consider is that while creating this background, you have to imagine it as being made out of several parts. You can use layers to help you separate the foreground, middle ground, and background. So you can have as many layers or assets as you like, but do consider that you would probably need a minimum of three for the parallaxing effect to look good. Every part of the background that you create would be focusing on only that aspect of the environment. Perhaps if you're working on the foreground elements, then you would only be drawing items that are closest to camera and the other parts of the canvas will remain transparent. Uh, if you're focusing on objects in the middle ground, you only draw uh, your items in the middle ground and you ignore objects in the foreground and background. And if you're drawing objects that's very far away from camera, you only focus on those objects. Besides that, another condition that you would have to keep in mind is that the canvas of your environment should probably be twice the length of the original video size. So if you're doing 1920 by 1080, I would keep the height remaining at 1080 while I would double the length to 3840 pixels wide. In this scenario, I also duplicate the pattern. Uh, what I do in the first half of the canvas, I would repeat on the second half of the canvas. So it's essentially the image duplicated. Once you're done separating the elements into its individual layers, you can save each layer as a separate file. Now, the file type you choose can be any file type, but just make sure that the file type supports transparency. The file type that I'm using is a PNG. You can then proceed to import the many images into your animation software, uh, like Animate CC, and arrange all the individual layers on the timeline so that you once again compose your background. You can use the Align tool to very quickly align your images to the stage. Uh, just very simply align it to center, as well as whether you want it to fit to the left or to the right, I'm going to align it so that the left side of the image is flush to the left side of the canvas. After setting up my background, I would very easily import my little walking man, the, the character that I did in the previous demonstration. Now to import the little guy from a different animate file, all you have to do is to open up that file while working on your parallaxing background. Uh, you open up the walk cycle file and if you save that walking character as a symbol, you can very easily uh, go back into your parallaxing background and in your library we just choose to import that guy from a different file and yeah you can very easily drop him from your library into your scene you can resize him and reposition him to a spot or a location that you like within your canvas or your stage rather and yeah uh, if it's a symbol he will continue walking now this character that I created takes 10 frames to complete the walk cycle on a 12 frames per second uh, frame rate. So while considering that fact, if he takes 10 frames to complete a cycle, then you have to consider how many cycles it takes for that guy uh, to walk before the foreground completes its own cycle. So for example, if the foreground is moving from the right hand side of the screen to the left hand side of the screen, uh, how long will it take? Will it complete the movement after the character took two steps? Will it complete its movement after the character took three steps? Or perhaps in my situation, I'm going to say that the foreground will complete its cycle from the right hand side to of the screen to the left hand side of the screen after the character takes four walk cycles. That would mean 10 times 4, so the foreground cycle would take 40 frames. So if it takes the character 4 cycles for the foreground to complete one cycle, so what would the items in the middle ground take? How long, how many cycles would that take? Uh, so you can think of it this way. One cycle of the foreground is 40 frames, so the middle ground can be 40 times 2 for 
two cycles, 40 times 3, 40 times 4, so on and so forth. For this project, I'm going to complete the cycle at frame 240 so that the foreground would complete uh, six cycles before the middle ground completes one cycle. Once you understand that concept, you can apply the same method for the far ground. So the far ground, uh, you can consider if the middle ground takes 240 frames, uh, you can either double or triple that number. So 240, uh, 480, or like this demonstration over here, I'm going to make it to 720. So my total number of frames for this animation will be 720 frames. I'm going to very simply add a shadow on the ground and then yeah, you're done with your walk cycle. Well done.